Today, you're going to learn how to create a bibliography for a science assignment um, in a Google Doc at the International School of Amsterdam. Now, here is a Google Doc, uh, just a sample assignment that I've created to, uh, to show you. At the top, um, I can click on add-ons and you'll see I've got the Easy Bib Bibliography Creator. If you don't already have that, you'll need to click on Get Add-ons, then search for Easy Bib. And then I've already got it installed, but you'll be able to install it here. Right, once you've got EasyBib installed, you've written your assignment, um, you need to first create um, sort of a database of the different sources that you have used. Now, let's say, for example, I've used three different sources to write this assignment. Um, I click on Manage Bibliography, and it opens um, this panel on the side. Now, the first thing to do is the style we're going to change. Instead of using MLA, we're going to use a style called Nature Publishing Group Vancouver. This is a scientific style of bibliography that is used by the science journal Nature. Now, once I've got that, I can start searching for um, the sources that I've used. Let's say, for example, I've used the textbook called Complete Physics by Stephen Popple. So I write the name of the, the title of the book and the author, and I'll see at the top, Complete Physics by Stephen Popple, published in 1999. So I click on Select, and you'll see that adds it now to my bibliography. Let's say I used another book. Um, it's a biology study guide written by Andrew Allot. Biology study guide written by Andrew Allot, uh, 2014. Okay, so again, I click on select and it adds it again to my list of different sources. Now, let's say I also used a website. Um, the best way of doing this is to put in the website URL. So I'll go to the website here. As an example, I've got the National Health Service from the UK homepage, and I can just paste that, <coughs> paste that in, and it comes up here NA choice. NHS Choices homepage, and I can select that. Okay, so I've now got my three different um, sources. Um, I've written my assignment, and so all I have to do is click Add Bibliography to Doc, and it adds the bibliography. I'm just going to give it a bit more space here below the assignment. Now what I need to do is I need to indicate in the text where I've used information from each of these sources. Now remember, whenever you write something in your assignment um, that refers to data or information that you have not collected or discovered yourself, you need to reference where you first got that information. Unless, of course, it is considered what's called common knowledge. Now, let's say this first sentence here. Um, I got the information in this sentence from the website NHS Choices homepage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a superscript one to show that it's my first reference. I just write the one and then I can click on superscript and you'll see it makes it a superscript one. Now what I need to do because EasyBib puts these automatically in alphabetical order because it doesn't know um, which order they're going to appear in in the text. So I put NHS Choices homepage at the top, I give it the number one, um, and so that's what's been referred to by this superscript one in the, um, in the text. Now let's say the second sentence, the information in that I got from two different sources. Let's say I got the information from the NHS Choices homepage, and I also got the information from the complete physics textbook. In this case, I'm going to do a one comma two, this is two different sources. Um, make that superscript. And now because Popple is the second source that I'm using, that's going to go hang on, that's going to go um, in the second place in my bibliography. So that's going to go up here and that's going to get the number two. Okay. Now let's say this sentence, I got the information there from 
the um, biology study guide. This is going to get the number three because it's the third uh, source. Um, and then because this is the third source, this reference now gets the number three. Okay. Now, remember, um, the idea is every sentence where you include information that um, you have got from one of these sources, you need to include the source at the end of the sentence. So many of your sentence will have a source at the end. So let's say, for example, this second sentence, I got that from um, the NHS Choices homepage. Now I give, again, a superscript number one, okay, because it was the first uh, source that I used in my whole assignment. Um, okay, and then, for example, let's say this sentence here, if it used all three sources, I would do one, comma, two, comma, three, make all of these superscript. Um, and I don't need to add anything here because I've already used these sources. Right, the last thing to do is to just check through the bibliography and just check that the formatting has been done as you uh, would hope. Now, for the URL here, I'm not going to include all the HTTP and www. Um, and I'm also not going to include this at the end. And also, you can see access 7th of February. So that's the date that I accessed the web page. Now, there's no space between the February and the 2017. So I'm just going to put a space in there. If I look through the other sources, they all seem to be good. So as far as I can see, I've completed my assignment. I've added my bibliography. And I've added in the referencing in the text that refers to the bibliography. I hope you've learned something. Thank you.